Hello. I have been eating so much chips and pasta and carbs lately. These past two years have probably been the most unhealthy I've ever been. It's not just about my weight. It's about feeling different. It's about having less energy. And this year, 2023, I am hopefully gonna get more healthy, more in shape. And to do that is a lot of things, you know, a lifestyle change, I know. Um, but one of the ways I'm hoping to do that is just by eating more good foods, hopefully more things that I grow myself. And to start off with that, because it's very difficult to grow outside right now when there's feet and feet of snow on the ground, I wanted to try growing sprouts just so that I can have something fresh and green all the time, just something that's easily accessible to me. Not something that I have to go to the store for, something that's gonna rot in the fridge in a couple of days. That always seems to happen to me with salad mix. Um, I just never get to use up as much as I buy, and it all goes bad so quickly. And I don't really like to go grocery shopping. <laughs> so sprouts and microgreens and things like that would be great. Some of the health benefits of sprouts in particular are the phytonutrients they contain. And I don't know so much about this. I've been doing some more research, but it's full of antioxidants. It's, um, it's good at preventing cancer. It's good at, um, it's good for your gut, for developing a good gut bacteria and environment. And those are all things that sound great to me. I do have quite a sensitive stomach. You know, I have stomach issues a lot. I have for years, so. Yeah, really just anything that I can eat and put into my body that's going to be good for it um, is going to make a difference for me. I recently purchased about two and a half pounds of alfalfa seeds. Um, and this is what I'll be using for sprouts. I have a few other um, packs like this that I bought. I bought like salad mixes. It has broccoli in it. It has radish in it. It has a few other different... Mm, things in it, but I just wanted to start off and see how the alfalfa goes. Um, I know in college, one of my favorite healthy treats that I would have was I would go to the deli near my house just a block away and get a turkey, what was it, a turkey avocado sandwich, and they like filled it with sprouts and avocado. It was so delicious, and so that's what I think of. So I really wanna have sprouts again to try that. I don't know, we don't have sandwich things right now, but I'll get sandwich things next time I go to the store. I'm thinking I can put it on top of salads, really on top of every single meal that I have. Sprouts would be good. Anyways, I've already tried it once and it was successful. Actually, let me show you what my sprouts look like. These are day six, <laughs> I think. And really they were good to go on day uh, three or four. Um, and I have just been keeping it in the fridge. So they'd last longer. We're gonna use a bunch of this today for lunch and dinner. But I'm gonna show you how easy it is to sprout microgreens in just a mason jar um, to keep it on the counter. I barely did anything with it. The biggest maintenance is just making sure that it's, is that there's moisture always in here, is that it doesn't dry out. And so just twice a day, in the morning and in the evening, I'll check and see if it needs water. And if it does, I'll just add a tiny bit from the tap. And there are other ways to regulate how much water stays in there. So if you are in a very dry environment like I am, you can, put the lid on. You can use the lid on the mason jar. You can have um, something that lets air flow through. I use a cheesecloth um, and just put it in place of that cap of the mason jar, of the lid. So what I have is a mason jar. You know, it has the line to three cups. I think it's a quart mason jar. I have some cheesecloth that I got from the store. Um, that I'll just be putting on top of this and I have my seed and that's all I'll need and some water So I'm thinking maybe This much of seed is enough. It's maybe even too much. I did a little bit more than this and it became 
this monstrosity. Um, and it's pretty densely packed in there. I tried to take some out. Yeah, in the middle, it's real dense. Um, so I think this should be good enough and I'm just gonna get just a tiny bit of water just to have all of this soaked. So this is a quarter of a cup. Just gonna mix it around in there and it's okay if they're not all submerged. I'm gonna cut just a little bit of this cheesecloth. And I'm actually gonna, well, I don't even need to dampen it. Just gonna do enough so that it folds over the top. And so I'm not gonna use the lid to the mason jar. I'm gonna put that aside. I'm just gonna use this ring. So I'm actually gonna let these seeds soak for like an hour or so, and then I'll kind of drain most of it off. What I want is for this to stay humid and wet, but not drown the seeds, you know? I, I only have like a shallow amount, so I'm pretty sure that it's gonna stay um, well oxygenated, you know? Uh, especially before everything starts to develop and require oxygen. So I think it'll be fine, but just to be safe, I'll probably um, replace the water, just dump it out right through the tree cloth and put a little bit more in, uh, maybe twice a day for a couple of days. I'll show you a picture of what my jar looked like on day two when you see the little roots sprouting out. It's so adorable, those little baby roots coming out of the seeds. I feel like a proud mom <laughs> watching these little seeds germinate and develop. Um, it's a very fun process to watch and it, it's very quick. It doesn't take long at all. I am thinking maybe I'll have a system where I always have two jars so that I'll always have a fresh supply and I'll be eating them, you know, really putting them on any meal. I haven't broken into it just yet. Um, but, you know, I don't think this would last us long if we uh, did eat it with every meal. So I'm going to make lunch in a little bit and I'll show you how I am starting to use this and starting my 2023 goal of being more healthy hopefully losing some weight but really just to feel more energized just to feel a lot better about myself to feel like a normal human being again that's my goal be a human what was i saying <laughs> i'll have lunch in a little bit and i'll show you how i start to use it how many of these do you think i need to eat before i'm fit so while I was getting a bunch of errands done and taking my dog for a walk, I had some salmon in the oven and I'm just gonna put together a really quick salad and have some microgreens inside of that. And I'm taking this salad to go, I'm going over to a friend's house. This is gonna be a salad for three for dinner. I'm not sure if it's enough for dinner but I'm trying to be healthy. I might come back to some potato chips tonight. I just don't know. Um, there are some bad leaves in here. I'll just try and pull out. See, lettuce goes so bad so quickly. Ugh. And to dress it, I'm just gonna do olive oil, balsamic, and salt and pepper. Here is the lunch that I just made, the dinner. Uh, I'm actually taking this over to a friend's house, so it's dinner for three. It's just a big salad with some salmon, um, some sprouts mixed in, uh, and some sprouts on top. And I've just been snacking on these, and they taste really good, and they taste really healthy. I feel like I wouldn't mind having this every day, and I probably will have it every day because it's just so easy to have around. Now that I have the seed, now that I know how easy it is, I already have my next jar going. Um, and soon after, I think once we're done with this one, then I'll start in a new jar. So there's always gonna be two jars going of sprouts. Brendan? Yeah. Are you back from work? Uh, for a little bit. Do you wanna try my sprouts?
Very sprouty. <laughs> Tastes healthy, right? Mm-hmm. Ooh, fish. Okay, we're gonna have lunch while Brennan's still on his break. Thanks for watching. Bye. This camera is so hard for me to stay in focus for. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong.